spinning out of the red corner, the challenger from Chapel Rock by Jim P. Hands together for Jasmina Zapozna. And standing across the cage in the blue corner, the champion from Heroes Gym. Let's hear it for Stevie Levy. <laughs> this boxing title battle will be fought over five two minute rounds. Your referee in charge of the action, Mr. Lee Fallen. My goodness, it feels like everyone in the arena is on their feet, Dean. Stevie Levy, her final fight. Ladies and gentlemen, please move defense. back from the cage or we all have to stop the fight. Move back from the cage, please, ladies and gentlemen. And fans just getting told they've got to move away from the cage, otherwise we can't have a fight. Stevie Levy making the final defence of her 60 kilo boxing title here at Contender. She's extremely popular. She's planning to move into the pro game after this. So can she pen the perfect ending to her amateur boxing story? Or can Jasmina Zapozna upset the apple cart and the story and upset the fans here? We're about to find out. Five two-minute rounds. Stevie Lever, Jasmini, sorry, Jasmina Zapozna for the boxing 60 kilo, 60 kilograms title here at Contenders 26. And I could barely hear myself think, Dean. Intensely dedicated fighter is Levy, very technical boxing skills, excellent ring craft. She likes the left hook to right hook combination at mid to close range, so watch out for that. Yeah, Stevie's a really slick boxer. She can mix it up when, when she needs to. I remember a fight against Tia Sawyer where she really had to mix it. Just a feeding out process so far, Dean. Booth ladies just seeing what the other might have. Standing off, Jasmina's got a very good amateur background, pedigree herself. The initial exchange is tentative. As you say, it's a five, two minute round fight, a title fight. Stevie just bouncing, looking to measure Jasmina. Levy's got a grinding sort of tough style back with technicality, but we don't see this that often from her, from taking center stage, but almost like a massive distance between her and her opponent. She usually engages by now, which could be respect for this last opponent, Mark. She's got to be nervous as well as I say, there's a lot riding on this last fight for her. But she needs to, she wants to have the perfect ending to her amateur career here by walking away into the sunset, defending the belt for the final time and turning pro. So there's a lot of pressure on her, there's a lot of people here cheering her on. And maybe this early, this early tentativeness is maybe reflective of that, Dean. Because certainly she's been a lot more tentative than we normally expect from her. Yeah, she's being conservative, but I mean, that could be translated as the smart play in boxing. She's gauging the distance, testing, fake and feigning, and using in and out footwork, just to gauge the reaction of Zapochna. Zapochna, uh, yeah, as of yet, yeah, I mean, there we go, looking for the body wow. shot. Wow. There's the exchange we see usually from Levy. So, so we wait, and then they just literally just go at it and throw down in the phone booth. Oh, the exchange is equal. Both landed in that exchange. We're coming to the end of the first round. It's been almost entirely a round of looking at each other. A lot of tension in the air. The chance of Stevie go up as we end the first round. And you can only describe that, Dean, as a very tentative feeling out sort of first round. Lots of mutual respect between these two ladies. And like you say, there's a lot riding on this. You know, Levy's looking to go to the pro ranks. And this is for the gold. This is for the belt here at the contenders. Um, so Zabonjan is doing a good job of uh, sitting back. I mean, she ulti ultimately has to be very careful with the power strikes from Levy. So she's maintaining that distance, gauging the reactions here, but she needs to start thinking about landing some of these shots. Move in, use head work and footwork after the punches, and then circle out with that left hand. Don't leave it on the right hand, because she could get countered by Levy. Absolutely, and you see in the corner of Jasmina de Pozner from the Chapel Rock Fight Gym, her head coach very animated, bouncing back and forth, indicating he wants her to bounce in and out of range but unload with the shots. That's what we didn't really see in that first round, apart from that one exchange where they both kind of just threw and both landed. But certainly neither has seized, you would say, the upper hand thus far, Dean. So four rounds to go. Let's see if we get a little bit more exchange in this second round. Stevie Levy wearing those famous Superman, or Superwoman, I should say, trunks. And then Jasmine is a positive in the opposite corner, as I say, good pedigree. The crowd are on their feet all around us as we get underway for round two. Savoja needs to beat Stevie to the punch here. She's a lot smaller in stature, so you could argue she maybe has a speed advantage here. She needs to land and then get out clean and keep that head moving. Hey, nice right hand from Stevie. That's probably the best shot of the fight so far on the counter as Jasmina came in. So that's what she wants to do. 
You see when Jasmina comes in, she just kind of throws caution to the wind and puts her head down and throws Dean. But obviously, as we said earlier, you've got to keep your eyes on the target. And again, they just kind of crash together. So Ponchina's leaving the, her head ever so slightly to the left, which opens her up from that right-hand attack. We know Levy's got a crazy right hook. So let's see if Stevie can land that one. I'm hoping you can pick up some of this atmosphere through the uh, through the microphones because everyone around us is standing and chanting Stevie. It's one of the most charged atmospheres I've ever been part of here at Contenders. Contenders 26, Mark Heath, Dean Midhat, with you live around the world. It's a pleasure to be with you as we call the final fight of Stevie Levy's Contenders boxing career. And again, they kind of dance around each other and then exchange. But neither's really having the better of these exchanges so far, Dean. Yeah, I mean, there's no urgency, almost certainly, in a five-round fight. Uh, the smart boxing from both of these females. They're looking for the ample opportunity, or indeed, waiting for their opponent to make a mistake and capitalise on it. You can tell they both have a lot of respect for each other. Maybe both want to counter-punch and want, want the other one to lead, which often makes for uncomfortable exchanges. So you see, again, though, they come together, hooks are thrown, and again, they bounce off and circle around each other, leaving probably being more aggressive, Nice left hook there, Dean. She does have good hooks in her arsenal. So Posner working the body in the exchange. And that's the end of the second round. So a little bit more action that round, Dean, but still relatively tentative. Levy may be the happier thus far. Yeah, Levy, I mean, almost certainly, you can see by her face, she stuck her tongue out a few times. <laughs> She's having fun in there, and that's half the, half the battle, you know, not succumbing to the nervousness of the crazy pressure from the crowd, you know, hometown favourite. Um, she's staying calm and collected in there, and, and sometimes you see that from two high-level boxers. They slowly progress, almost like a pyramid. If you can look at the re replay here, in these exchanges, you could argue that Levy's getting the better of it. And then we saw just before the separation there, her right hand. You can see here, these exchanges, look, as Stevie comes in, she's just able to find her mark just a little bit better. And Sapochna's moving backwards, but with her hands down, a very dangerous game to play against someone like Levy. And as she comes in, as you say, she leans to the left, but she also puts her head down. She's not really looking at the target. And that's something that Super Stevie Levy could look to take advantage of in the third round. Remember, this is five rounds. This is the third. So three rounds still to go as we wait for this fight to catch fire. The shouts of Stevie go up all around us. And we're back underway. Third round here, contenders 26. Stevie Levy and Jasmina Zapozna. Nice left hook there from Levy. Beautiful shot, Dean. Levy now getting more tenacious with the movement. She's firing in and then landing those feet down to fire those punches. She's not sitting back too much. They see there she's pressuring forward. This is how she wins fights. This is how she finishes young, the young ladies in front of her. She storms forward with that power and looks for those big hooks. And this is some good action as they exchange now. Stevie Levy starting to feel more comfortable, clearly, because we as a Posner coming forward as well. And they are just throwing now. Levy punches her way out of the clinch. This is fascinating stuff. You sense this fight could explode at any second, Dean. That's what makes it so exciting. And when they engage and they go toe to toe, they both just unleash all hell on each other. Look at that. Stevie got caught one there. She's got to keep those hands up in the exchanges and use rolls to set up those punches to talk. She's walking oh. on the shots here. And look at Levy cutting the cage off. She landed some good shots there on Jasmina. Jasmina temporarily looked at, away. And now they're really throwing. Look at this action here. Ten seconds left in the third round. And it's really starting to catch fire, Dean. They're both throwing and landing. Jasmina finding a home for that overhand rock. When Stevie comes storming in like that with those hooks, she drops her hand ever so slightly. Look at that, Jasmina again. Body on the head, Mark. Fantastic action here at Contenders 26. The crowd get behind Levy here. And she circles in the outside, looks for a way in, but she can't come in with reckless abandon there. Just keep the hands up nice and high and, and properly target her shots. There we go, that's more cleaner. Fire from the chin, then straight back to the chin. And that's the end of the third round. I think we saw just at the end there, Levy may have the speed advantage as well in terms of the speed of her hands, but we're waiting for it to catch fire. And it certainly started to burn there in that third round. Some excellent exchanges. Jasmina landed some good punches, but Stevie Levy also caught her and there was one point where Jasmina kind of looked away 
kind of visibly affected by a punch, and that's probably the biggest punch we've seen so far. Hopefully we get to see some replays, Dean. We've got two rounds left. If you're in the corner, which corner are you happiest in? I mean, you could argue Levy there with the, the aggression and the, the volume of strikes she actually landed, the pressure she's commanding early on in that round anyway. She was commanding the center of the stage and she's backing up Jasmine, as you can see from the replay, landing those, those, those shots, particularly the right hand and the hooks to the body. But Jasmine came, really came alive when she started to land this overhand right. Look at that. And it actually stumbled Stevie. Stevie was wondering what to do there. She clinched and then fired in those hooks. But you can see from the replay there, when she's swarming in with those hooks, her hands are quite low. She needs to make sure she punches from her chin and then back to her chin. Yeah. And it really did, from the replay, you can see that buzz Levy a little bit. She, she had to hold just momentarily once she regained her senses. So here we go. Jasmine is a positive. Can certainly make an impact on this fight. This is the fourth of five rounds for Stevie Levy, 60 kilo boxing title here at Contenders 26. Mark Heath, Dean Midhat, happy to with you calling the action. And what an absorbing contest this is. Boxing at the highest level as Levy comes swarming forward. Pins to Posner against the cage. Lands some big shots, Dean. Stevie Smith. Posner comes straight back. Stevie smelt blood there, you can see she swarmed on her opponent. And that's when you can swarm and kind of be less open for those counters if you have your opponent wobble. So when she swarms in like that with her hands down, she needs to make sure that she makes contact with Jasmina and she has her wobbled. Yeah, this crowd is something else. I'm struggling to even hear myself, let alone you, Dean. So sorry if I talked over you just then. Oh my God, that's a big right hand from Jasmina. That looked like that rock Levy to me. I'm not sure Jasmina is aware of the impact it had. Stevie definitely is. That's why she initiated that clinch. Smart play on her part to initiate that clinch and gain some the equilibrium back in her mind. Look, she's circling on the outside now. Yeah. She felt that shot. She's trying to get back to normal here. She's doing well because Jasmina, I don't think, knows that she hurt her there. Otherwise, she'd surely be coming forward because she was definitely rocked. Her legs did a little kind of stiffening and she backed up. Her body language changed. She's back on the bike. Still got some nice bounce in the legs. Oh, another big right hand there again from Jasmina. This is spoke about earlier on the fight, Mark. Jasmina's got to beat Stevie to the punch. She's got to get in there with power and get out clean, whether that's head movement or footwork. So Jasmina knows that she can land that right hand. Dances away there from Levy's advances. This is very, very interesting. Can Jasmina detonate that right hand again? That's what she wants to do. She wants Stevie to lead. And they're both just throwing from the clinch. And that's the end of the fourth round. And you'd have to say that was the Posner's best round of the fight, Dean. Yeah, I mean, such a test for Levy, the hometown champ coming to defend her belt. And Jasmine has done a good job of staying calm and collected in those exchanges. And more importantly, throwing that right hand. She's put power into it. She's determined to land it and stop Stevie in her tracks. She did a great job. I'm really, really impressed with Jasmine. Look at the, the replay here, Mark. Stevie swarming forward here. Jasmina, look, she's taking that overhand right. Beautiful work. Hopefully we get to see the, the big right hand as well at some point. Um, so I think that was the biggest shot that... I think that was it, wasn't it? It kind of stiffened the legs a little bit, and she backed off. He caught her more on the forehead, I believe. There's the head work. There's the overhand right again. Look at that. Yeah. Starting the head. That's Jasmine's got to try and target the chin or the temple. That'll really start to rock. There we go. There's a chin shot there, right hand from Jasmina. Jasmina's coming alive in this fight. Some now. fantastic right hands there, but has she left it too late? She's got one round left. She knows she can tag Stevie Levy. The crowd is firmly behind Stevie. One round left in her contender's boxing career. This is absolutely fascinating, Dean, because we know Jasmina can land that right hand and it can hurt Stevie. Here we go. Fifth and final round. Dean Midhat, Mark Heath, and we're back underway. Nice in and out footwork again from Jasmina. She's looking to land that counter shot, whether she's moving back or planting her feet. There we go, that was beautiful round right. Just missed the mark here. And again, we see the clinch. Staying active in this position here. But ultimately, Jasmina needs the distance. She needs that ample opportunity to make Levy miss, come in and land that big overhand right. Oh, nice shots from Levy. Oh, she stumbles back against the cage. She got Jasmina in trouble there. I, think she, I don't think she was hurt, I just think she stumbled against the cage. Yeah, I think she stood on the bottom of the cage yeah. there, the circular bit with the padding. But that will look good in the judges' eyes. As they both exchange again, working inside with Stevie Levy, charging forward. The fans next was literally jumping up and down, they're that excited. 
Stevie Levy comes forward. This means everything to her, this fight, Dean, and you can tell in the way she's fighting. Jasmine now commanding center cage. So far, she's done a good job. Oh, my goodness. She's done a great job of circling out the way of danger. Look, she lands what she needs to land, and then she circles out the counter punches of Levy. Beautiful work. But does she need to land that with more damaging intent, Dean? Has she done enough to take a decision if it does go that deep? Has she done enough to take a decision from Stevie Levy in her hometown in front of all these fans? I don't know, but she's certainly landing that right hand. That's the thing with, the, with the, the power shots. You have to be connected to the floor to get more power. But she's not connecting herself to the floor because she'd be still in front of Levy. Look at that right hand. And what I'm talking about, she lands enough power to do damage and they mount up, Mark. But more importantly, she doesn't plant her feet to negate her footwork. She needs to get out of the way of Stevie's counter shots, which are usually the hooks. Absolutely. What an absorbing fight this has been. As they change again, left hook from Jasmina. And look at this, Stevie Levy is literally giving everything. She's leaving it all in there, as is Jasmina Zaposna. What a great fight from these ladies, and that is the end of the fight, I believe. It's gone the distance. Stevie Levy holds her hands in the air. Has she done enough, Dean, to defend the title in her final fight here on Contenders? Such an amazing fight. Every fight so far has been worth the ticket admission or the pay-per-view alone. That was beautiful. We spoke about the kind of pyramid of people leading up, the, the decent boxers, they, they kind of open like a flower with regards to the rounds as they progress, and we saw that exactly from these two. The replay here, the clinch work, the peppering shots to the body and head from both athletes. But it was the right hands that kept snucking through here from Jasmina. And that was the slip there that we saw early on, and she immediately clinches. I don't think she was hurt, I think, as you say, I think she just stepped from the bottom of the cage and stumbled. There's that big right hand again but I'm not sure that she landed it enough to take a decision away from Stevie Levy. She comes in front of us here, salutes her fans who are everywhere. This will be fascinating. Jasmina Zaposna really showing some quality to come into Stevie Levy's backyard and put up what was a tremendous fight, Dean. She really shows some pedigree as we await the judges' decision here. Contenders 26. 60 kilo boxing title. Has Stevie Levy done enough to defend her crown and sail off into the sunset, into the paid ranks, into the pro game with that title? Certainly her fans think so. They're all around us. Camera phones, clapping, saluting. Stevie, I think, thinks she's done enough as well. Jasmina a little bit more understated in her corner. This is going to be very interesting indeed as I keep an eye on Tom Vince to see if we're ready to get the scorecards, just conferring with the judges, and I think we're ready. Tom Vince steps into the cage and we're ready for the official decision. Fighters to the centre of the cage, please. And ladies and gentlemen, this bout was sponsored by Regency Security. Please, let's hear it for both these ladies in the cage. What a great five rounds of action that was. After those five hard four rounds, ladies and gentlemen, we have a unanimous decision. Your winner. And the new Boxing champion, Jasmina Zapozna. Oh my goodness. That's the upset. That's the end to the fairy tale. Jasmina gets Let's it, Dean. for Stevie I'm Levy. So no, you know, the one time I didn't say about decision, I had, I had three rounds to two for Jasmina. Did you? Yeah. But I never like to say that because you never know what the judge is going to say. But the one time I didn't, man. But, I mean, you could argue she came alive in the later rounds, Jasmina. Stevie was on the receiving end of a lot of those punches, and she was forced to chase Jasmina. Jasmina stepping up against a hostile crowd, um, you know, against a bigger opponent and a more experienced opponent, and she came away with a win. Very, very impressed with Jasmina. And these fans are not happy, and they're letting the judges know there's a lot of unhappy fans here. Oh, and someone's just grabbed the mic. Apologies if you heard... If you heard any profanity there, someone grabbed the mic of Dean Mittat, very, very unhappy, and that's not what you like to see. I'm afraid this bad feeling 
has spilled over a little bit. Yeah, some of the fans getting a bit more um, overzealous and grabbing the mic there. Apologies for any foul language that was heard if any children were watching. We probably, contenders apologise for that as uh, unruly fans here um, not happy with the decision. I mean, you can't let the the the, uh, the violence spill out into the cage or the ring. It, it's, when it's done, it's done, and you have to respect both the fighters. They both came here to fight. They both train really hard, and you've got to take losses. You know, with with the, with the careers, everyone loses. It's very rare that nobody um, you know stays unblemished, um, and it's a, it's an unfortunate thing to see the crowd reacting that reacting that manner. Um,